Hello, my name is Jennifer Tarango, and today I'm gonna to share with you five ways that you can increase, skyrocket the engagement on your social media content so you can start generating more leads for your business. My name is Jennifer Tarango and I help the underdog in business unlock and manifest the fighting spirit by unapologetically showing up as you. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure you do that right now because I will be back here every Thursday giving you more tips and tricks on how to grow your online or network marketing business through social media. Now make sure you stick around till the very end because I'm going to share the number one most important thing you can do to skyrocket your engagement and start generating new leads for your business so that you can make more sales. The first tip I have for you is to engage on the platform that you want to build your business on. So if you're building on Instagram, if you're building on Facebook, if you're building on TikTok, wherever you're building, you need to make sure that you are actively engaging. That means finding your ideal client and commenting and liking on their posts. That means commenting back on every comment you get on your posts, uh, responding to your DMs. So all those are important part of engaging on the platform that you are building on. And when you go find your ideal client on a platform, that's gonna drive them back to your profile. So my second tip is to post valuable content. By posting valuable content, when you find your ideal client and you comment and like on their post and send them a DM, right, just to get to know them, to be friendly, not to sell them anything, then if you have valuable content, then they're gonna follow you because you're providing value for your ideal client. So you're solving a problem with your content that they have. So they're gonna see the value in following you, which is exactly what you want, right? Um, and so now they're engaging with their, your content and you're engaging with their content and now you're building that no like trust factor and turning that cold lead into a warm lead and potential paying customer. When we talk about valuable content, what are we talking about? We're talking about entertaining content, so something that they'll find funny that's gonna enter entertain them, educational content, so think tutorials, tips, things along those lines, empowering content, so quotes, motivational stories, mantras, mindset, right? and then engage. So those are things where you just want them to engage with you. So maybe you ask a question or something like that. So that leads me to my next thing. So engagement, right? So that's what our whole goal here is on this, in this video is to learn how to get more engagement. So one of the keys to getting more engagement, and this is my third tip for y'all, is to use a call to action in your in your content, right? At the end of your post, you wanna tell your audience how you want them to engage with you. Do you want them to share, right? If you're on live, do you want them to share what you're, share, share the video, share the post? Do you want them to save it for later? Do you want them to comment below? Uh, how Do you want them to double tap if they love what you're saying, if they agree, right? So what are you trying to get them to do? Are you trying to get them to follow you? Are you trying to get them to go to the link in your bio and snag your free cheat sheet, which I have linked below. Uh, if you wanna snag that, it's 20 posts to build community in your Facebook group. So they're great ideas that you can use both in and out of your uh, Facebook group, but great post ideas that's gonna help you build community and engagement. If you wanna snag that, it is linked below. So make sure you're using a call to action so that people know what you want them to do, how you want them to engage. My fourth tip for you is to ask questions. And that can be a call to action, so tell me your fave, right? You, that could be at the end of your post, but you can also just post engagement posts where you're just asking a question. Tell me your favorite movie, right? So you're just polling your audience or asking their opinion. What should I name my next course, this or that? So that's going to include them in the decision-making process and asking a question 
is asking somebody to engage, right? Because you're asking their opinion and people love to give their opinion and we all know that, right? So make sure you're asking lots of questions, specifically if you're having a hard time with engagement, asking simple questions. So back to our call to action real fast. You want your call to action to be simple. Share this post if you found value. Click the link in my, in my bio and snag the free cheat sheet, right? So you want it to be simple. You want your audience to be able to to respond quickly, like a yes or no question, or um, just something very, double tap if you love this, right? You don't wanna say, tell me uh, the best idea you've ever had for a wedding. That could be, right, that's too much trouble. People don't wanna do that, but if you ask, do you like the black Nelfi or the white Nelfi? Do you like the pink dress or the purple dress? Should I name the course this or that? That's a simple call to action that people can get behind and that's gonna get you a lot of interaction so that you can go and engage with those people and comment and like on their posts and start building that no like trust factor with them. And my secret sauce, the, the thing that you should most definitely be doing to up your engagement right now on social media is utilizing video. Video right now is queen and you wanna be taking advantage of this. And let me tell you what I mean. Right now, the two hot places to be on social media are TikTok and Instagram Reels, okay? So those are easy um, videos. I mean, you can still show up in Facebook Lives and IGTV, but the way that you can get a lot of reach and a lot of new eyeballs on your content really, really quickly is through Instagram Reels and TikTok. And one video on TikTok took me from 1,300 followers all the way up to 50,000 followers in a matter of a few weeks. So if you're not utilizing video, you want to make sure that you start incorporating that into your content strategy. And again, I'm not telling you not to go live on Facebook or not to do uh, IGTV, but the awesome thing about Reels and TikTok is that Reels can only be up to 30 seconds and TikToks can only be up to 60 seconds. So, and honestly, the shorter, the better. So you wanna have a really strong hook. You, you wanna have a reason for them to stick around for the end. So the shorter your video is, eight, nine seconds, I think both on TikTok and uh, Instagram Reels, the shorter, eight to nine seconds, um, the more engagement you're gonna get and the more the algorithm is gonna push that video out and the more completion rate you're gonna get, which is really important for that engagement. And same thing, guys, you wanna tell people in those videos how to engage with you, but when people see you in video, they connect with you more. And if you get a video that gets a 1,000 uh, views or 2,000 views and you get a bunch of new likes or comments on that video, that's a ton of new people for you to go and engage with on their content and drive them back to your profile so they can engage with you on your content. So that is the secret sauce right now. That number five, utilizing video, make sure that you're incorporating that into your content strategy. If you need help um, working on a content strategy, you can text me here and I would love to hop on the phone with you and um, we can set up a time to go over your content strategy so that you can start working on implementing video, uh, you know, what you should be posting, all the types of things, all your content pillars that you can then turn around and start really growing your business on social media. So again, if you want to talk content strategy with me, engagement strategy, all those things, text, uh, content to this number and we will set up a time to chat for about 15 minutes. I hope this is super helpful. If you found value in this video, go ahead and like, share, comment. Uh, go ahead and comment. The question for today I want you to comment on is which uh, tip you love the best? Which engagement tip you love the best? Which one do you plan to implement right away? Um, because I would love to know in the comments, tell me below which one you're most excited to start using to increase your engagement. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure you do that right now because I will be back here every Thursday giving you more tips and tricks on how to grow your online or network marketing business through social media. Okay, have a great day.